Alright, hello um, Indianapolis um, and the rest of the country. Uh, this is Pierre Pullen um, back with you um, after the election um, and uh, our president elect Barack Obama is on his way. Uh, I'm going to be sending an appeal to his office. Hopefully he can save my life and, and my career. Um, but uh, I'm doing this video because uh, I ran into um, a friend at Walmart and I've been running into a lot of people lately and they've been wanting to know what happened with the uh, shooting at Starbucks and um, what they never heard any more about it and the reason you haven't heard any more about it is because Carl Brizzy, Scott Newman, uh, Michael Spears uh, the chief of the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Force. They all know who shot me. Uh, I believe Starbucks knows who did it. I believe they all know who did it, but they're not going to prosecute them because they shot me. They shot Pierre Pullen. A lot of people don't know that I sued um, Carl Brizzy <coughs> and uh, several other Republican judges in 2005 uh, filed a complaint against the Republican uh, Master Commissioner back in 2004 and ever since then um, Carl Brizzy has tried to stick it to uh, me or my brother my brother gets arrested um, you know one time in 2005 he sat in jail for seven months mother spent eight grand um, was facing rape charges um, and in the end uh, the judge uh, excluded the testimony of the police officers and the accusers because they wouldn't show up um, and um, you know Carl Brizzy just went after him because I, I sued him in federal court uh, this is all about uh, political persecution I uh, filed a complaint against Cale Bradford um, sued him in federal court in 2005 Cale Bradford subsequently destroyed my court file uh, he made a false entry into the court record and uh, Mitch Daniels put him on the appellate court. Um, if you go to my website, um, myspace.com slash Pierre Pullins and click on my pictures, I post the documents there. So just go to myspace.com slash Pierre Pullins, P-I-E-R-R-E, Pullins, P-U-L-L-I-N-S, and uh, click on pics, my pictures, and you'll see the documents posted there. Um, so when I say Cale Bradford destroyed my court file, um, I mean that, and I can back it up. And he did it in broad daylight. Um, but back to the Starbucks incident, um, as you'll recall that after I got shot, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that neither the... Uh, black newspapers, neither the Indianapolis Recorder nor the Indianapolis, uh, Indiana Herald carried that story. Um, and they did that because they didn't want my name back in the newspaper because at the time, as you recall, I was running for Congress. And with all that news media exposure and everything, I only got 220 votes. Um, that is why our clerk, Beth White, she ought to be indicted, she ought to be investigated, along with Doris Ann Sadler um, and Cal Bradford and Carl Brizzy and our Chief Justice Randall Shepard. I can't even get anybody to take my Starbucks case. Um, not because it's not a good case, not because there wasn't foreseeability on the part of Starbucks, um, but um, they they know that the um, the courts and the prosecutor are politically persecuting me. And so, um, uh, there it is. Um, one of the things now is, um, have to deal with, um, you know, it's gotten to the point where anybody can, you know, my brother's stupid, but anybody can call the police on him and, um, you know, uh, get him arrested. And now we're having to deal with the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Force, um, line and a probable cause affidavit and my brother's sitting down there locked up. Now hopefully it will get out but 
Um, I think once again Carl Brizzy's going to try to um, keep him locked up as long as he can. Um, this um, it, it's become painfully obvious to a lot of people out there that we've had um, two or maybe three fraudulent election result reporting. The first one occurred in May of 2006 with my court file missing. I supposedly come in dead last with only 300 votes. Um, and then I believe that election was stolen from Eric Dickerson. I don't believe Ms. Carson won her last election. And see, I say these things because I know what happened. You don't know what happened because you haven't been told. Uh, the Indianapolis Star um, uh, has not told you what has been going on. Um, so you don't know. Um, I think I should be concerned with a missing court file um, that this is not a um, uh, conspiracy theory. You can go to my website and my MySpace page and you can look at that. Uh, we're coming to the end of the year. Uh, this is Thanksgiving weekend and I've already paid out of my check $6,200. I pay $133 a week in child support and as many of you know I haven't seen my kid all this year and I haven't seen him in the last five years in part because Carol Bradford destroyed that court file. Now they'll go after Grant Hawkins, a black judge, and you know, um, you know, because the disciplinary, they've got a complaint against him. Well, you know, I haven't filed one against Carol Bradford yet, but, you know, I, I they're, they're eventually going to get the complaint, but the U.S. Attorney's got the complaint. The Justice Department has got the complaint, but they won't do anything about it. And um, it's this son of a bitch right here, this low-down son of a bitch who is our prosecutor. His name is Carl Brizzy. He's a dirty SOB. He needs to be recalled, and I hope that everybody uh, votes this son of a bitch out of office because he is using his um, position as prosecutor to try to destroy me. That's exactly what he's doing. In fact, the Marion County uh, Courts of uh, the Indiana Judiciary, along with this prosecutor, um, destroyed my court file. You know, destroying court files and making false entries into the court record are felonies. And it's his responsibility to investigate it. And if he can't do it in a fair and honest manner, then he needs to ask uh, or appoint a special prosecutor, or what have you. And the Democrats uh, here in Marion County, uh, the leadership, I'm going to tell you right now, it serves you right. It serves you right. You see what they're doing to Grant Hawkins. Now, yeah, he was probably negligent and, um, um, with the button case, but hell, Kel Bradford destroyed my court file, made a false entry into the court record, and Randall Shepard, he most likely knew about it.